Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create and save and insert an electronic signature in Word. I'm also going to show you how to um, create a signature in Photoshop easily and also I'll show you a more advanced way to create a signature in Photoshop that will allow you to create a very professional signature that you can use on lots of different documents. Now the first thing that you need to do before you can insert your signature is you need to create one. Now there are several different very easy ways to do that. Firstly you can simply take a photograph of your signature on a piece of paper, a white plain piece of paper and make sure that file is on your um, device ready to use and upload into Word or if you don't have um, or if you want to do something very uh, simply and easily um, you can simply go online go to autodraw.com very easy simply go across to the color icon go and change it to black and simply draw your signature like so and then you can simply use a screenshot on your device and now you have your signature on your device. Now there's lots of different draw packages that come with your devices, you can use those but as long as you've got your signature on your computer then we can create one in, you, we can create a file in Word. Okay, so just to show you that your screenshot will work, if you go to insert, picture, picture from file, desktop, and there should be a screenshot here, insert. Okay, so this is the screenshot we took when we went to auto draw. So you can see now, and if you're happy with that and you don't really want to use it again, that's absolutely fine. You can just simply leave it as that quick and easy, go to auto draw, draw your signature, save it as a screenshot and insert it as a picture into Word. Now I took a photograph earlier of a signature and so my signature was this one here. Now, as you can see, when it comes up, it's quite big, which is absolutely fine, actually, the way we want it, because we're about to um, take the background off this signature. Now, at the moment, you're probably thinking, well, why do I need to take the background off? Well, if I show you, if you were to write this signature on a different page, a different colour page, what you'll find is that you've still got all this white around your signature. So if you're going to use this signature to sign it, a document that's not actually white you're going to get this box around the edge with all this white area so we're going to remove that now so if we just go back to no color and if we check picture format and then we click this icon that says remove background now everything that's highlighted in pink will be removed so you can see at the moment we've still got these white patches here that actually we probably want to remove as well. So if we go up to this icon here saying mark areas to remove, then we get this little pen tool here that we can just click and drag around and Word will actually do a pretty good job of getting rid of these white areas and highlighting them pink so that they will be deleted at the end of our they will be deleted when we're done now you can be as um, detailed about this as you want to um, it's entirely up to you and you can spend quite a while now at the top at the top up here you can see that we've got a patch where the pink has actually gone over the black so we want to get that back so we now need to go up to this icon here that says mark areas to keep we'll get another pen tool here that we can then go around 
and Word will then bring that back. And you can go around this signature many times to um, enhance it. So once you're happy, then go up to Keep Changes. Now, once that's done, you can then check it. If you go up to Design and you go to Page Color, just click on a color, you can see now that you've got rid of most of the white. There's tiny little areas, but you can get rid of those if you want to. So what you've effectively done is you've created your electronic signature. Now, as you can see, uh, my signature is a little bit grey in some areas. I can quickly correct that if I want to. If I go up here to colour, sorry, you're in picture format here, and you go to colour, and if you click on this icon here, black and white, it will now darken your signature if that's what you want. Once you're happy with your signature, if you right click and check save as picture in documents of you can see I've done this numerous times before it will come straight up as a PNG file now that basically means that there's no background you've removed the background and you've just got the black elements of your signature so I will go up and just call this SIG as I've called everything signature and press save now once you've completed that you can then, sorry, you can then resize your signature to whatever size you like and so that you can move the signature around your document easily if you go to layout, wrap text, go down to tight and then you can move your signature wherever you want to and then you can increase or decrease the size. Now, obviously, if you pull it left and right, you're going to stretch it out. If that's what you want to do, that's absolutely fine. OK, so that is a way to create an electronic signature in Word and to save it out. So I'll just show you now that this is now saved. So if I get rid of that and I go to Insert, Picture, From File, and I just save, this is the one I saved. So I insert that signature let's just reduce the size oh let's just reduce the size of it i'm going to go back up to layout wrap text and that will allow me to move it around wherever i want it just make that a little bit bigger and then just to demonstrate that it's worked if we go to design change the page color you can see that we've got a standalone electronic signature for your document. Now, if you choose to do a more professional version of this, which I will show you now, this is the one I created in Photoshop. So as you can see, this is the same signature. Oh, don't quite know what happened there. Flipped it around. So if, as you can see, if we zoom in as much as we can, this signature here is, has got very defined edges and is very sharp. As if I show you this one, you can see the edges of this signature here are as a pen would draw it. It has quite gnarly edges, which is absolutely fine if that's what you want. But if you wanted to create something that looked a little bit more professional, then I will show you how to do this in Photoshop. Okay, so we're here in Photoshop and I've just uploaded my image of my signature. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, use the pen tool. So for those of you, this is a more advanced tutorial so for those of you who enjoy Photoshop, I'm simply going to use the pen tool. I will speed this up and I'm simply going to go around my signature with the pen tool. Which will allow me to create a shape.
Now what I'm doing here is having gone around the edge of my signature, I'm now just going around just to delete the white sections in between and create a shape so my signature has actually become a shape um, and which I can infill with black and adjust as I see fit with the transform tool. Okay, so now I've got my selection. I'm simply going to fill this with black. So I'm going to go to layer. So I usually use the shortcut for this. Sorry, go to edit, fill, fill with black, click OK. OK, and now you can press Command or Control D. And then if we hide everything else, you will see that now we have been left with a very well defined signature. So that effectively is now a shape. I did that really, really quickly, but you can go through it and do a really good job of defining it and going around the edges and making it really perfect. But what you'll realise now is because it's a shape, you can pull and push it as much as you like. You can resize it and it won't lose any quality because it's now a shape, not an image. And again, you go ahead and do exactly the same thing and you basically save it out as a um, PNG file. So if we go to documents and we go down to Photoshop, we go down to PNG and we, we uh, say this as a Photoshop signature, press save, press OK. And then again, once again, I will show you insert, picture, picture from file, signature, Photoshop signature, and then you can see now that we have a very well defined, I'm going to just go and wrap this because it just makes life a lot easier. So we can now resize this and put this. Now you can see the difference. Um, so if you know somebody who um, likes to do Photoshop or has the skills in Photoshop that can do this for you, um, it literally doesn't take that long uh, and they can create a really professional signature for you um, and email it to you as a JPEG and you can use it in your documents. Um, again, you can see the quality of this one um, from the screenshot um, but it really is up to you on how you go about uh, creating those different signatures. So there are some very quick and simple ways to do it um, and there are some more advanced ways to do it. I hope that's helped, I hope you find it useful. If you do, like and subscribe and have a great day!